Welcome back to Ghost Statesman TV. Veronica Walker scored a game-high 22 points and grabbed 11 rebounds as the Lady Statesman defeated North Alabama 57-41 February 18th at Walter Sillers Coliseum. The game was a part of the Play for K Cancer Initiative and it was also to honor the 1992 Lady Statesman National Championship team. Defensively, the Lady Statesman held North Alabama to 22% shooting and for 16 Lions turnovers. Head coach Sandra Rushing and Walker caught up with Ghost Statesman TV to give us their thoughts following the game. Um, I thought we looked a little, a little sluggish first half and, and um, the wear and tear of this conference is, is hard. And I think that uh, after, you know, I thought we played a solid second half and I'm very pleased with that. But I'm pleased with the win, especially, like I said, coming off a loss, um, it's such a letdown. Uh, but we're going to have to play a uh, a lot better than that if we want to accomplish our goals. I thought Burr uh, did a great job second half on moving it, and I thought we did a good job of getting her the basketball. I mean, we've got to have her doing that to win. I think it says a lot about um, the players that I've been able to coach. Like, I think I mean, everybody knows that great players make you look like a great coach, and I've been very fortunate to have players to come in and uh, take pride in defending their home court. Uh, and this has started way back with you know, we're talking about Coach Clark and, and Coach Wade. I mean, it's important when you come in here and play with Walter Sillers. It means something in, in that home court. They were definitely a great team, I can tell you that. Uh, you know, I think it, it was great for my players to have the opportunity to meet them cause, and, and have a chance to talk and visit with them because what better, you know, who better to tell them what it's like to win a national championship? I mean, they know what it's about. And it, those are memories that are going to last uh, forever and we also you know I appreciate what they've done because they set the tone for us they were talking about the dressing room and how much you know the dressing rooms changed where they're the ones that that paved the way for us to have what we have now I think that first I mean you know we need some rest and our blocking out uh, we, we've got to really talk about our defense we looked really really tired tonight defensively and uh, not moving well and uh, there's a lot of little things that we can fix, but the biggest thing that we have talked about, this time of year, when it hits February and you're entering into March, is the mental part of the game. You have to be sharp. I mean, you can't lose your focus because the mental part of it and who's mentally tough is going to win this championship. It was very fun. Back in the day, the ball was different, so... It was fun showing them what, how much it has changed. You know, it was good, being, it was good to put on a good show for them. Um, they always, when, when we sit down and talk to them, they one thing they say is work hard. You know, I always put forth the effort every night. Don't um, leave nothing behind. First of all, it's always good to play at home. You know, coming off losing, we had just had to let that game go and get it together and come back and start over. You know, every night I got to work hard because, you know, being double team is hard. You just got to, I got to sprint a little harder, you know, flash a little harder. And um, hit the open man and stuff. When at halftime, she just told us that it's not, we're not playing Delta defense. And, you know, we take pride in our defense and we just have to come back, refocus, and take over the second half. Well, yeah, the crowd is very supportive and, you know, playing in front of them, it makes it more easy, you know, it keeps the game going, it makes it more upbeat, it makes us more upbeat, you know, it's fun playing from your home crowd.